Hello everyone, let's talk about chart operations. In this video, we're going to look at what chart operations are all about. Chart operations can also be referred as chart ops. We're going to look at how chart ops works, benefits of chart ops. And finally, we're going to have a simple demo on how we can configure AWS chatbot to enable chart ops in Microsoft Teams. To follow along with the video you will need an aws account and a microsoft teams account with some teams tenant in it so let's get started what is chart operations chart operations is a practice that lets us use chat applications like slack microsoft teams to interact with and manage our cloud resources it improves efficiency by allowing us to perform tasks and you know get information directly within our chat platform without the need to switch between applications. Here is how chat ops works with AWS. AWS Chatbot. This is a native AWS service that integrates with Slack and Microsoft Teams. It allows you to perform actions like running AWS CLI commands to manage EC2 instances, S3 buckets, and other AWS services. It also uh, performs actions like receiving notifications from AWS services like the Amazon Event Bridge. It also allows you to perform actions like invoking AWS Lambda functions for automated tasks, creating AWS support cases for troubleshooting issues, which is very beneficial when you need to open a support request with AWS. You don't need to you know, leave the chat application to log into the console for you to create a support request. You can do all that within the chat applications. This is how, you know, this is the bigger picture of what chat operations is all about. Let's look at some of the benefits of chat operations. Uh, with AWS or for AWS, it improves com collaboration. So teams can discuss issues and take actions on their resources, their cloud resources, either AWS or uh, you know other cloud services directly within the chat channel. It also increases productivity. So when you have these configurations already set up, you don't need to switch resources. You know leave the application to log into the console to perform certain tasks that you can actually do within the application. So this improves productivity and reduces you know, time management for you also. This improves time management also. It also faster troubleshooting. So it streamlines communication and response time to incidents. Like I said before, you can open a support ticket within the Teams channel in AWS console. So you don't need to log into the platform these days to create a support ticket. You can do that from your Teams channel or maybe your Slack channel. So let's actually look at how we can configure the AWS chatbot to enable uh, you know, chat ops in Microsoft Teams. Firstly, you need a Microsoft Teams account to follow along with this demo, and you also need an AWS account also. I'm going to sign into my AWS console. You can go to console.aws.amazon.com and sign in. So I'm already signed in, and from the search bar, you can search for AWS chatbot, or you can just simply search for chatbot. So click on the AWS chatbot. To create or configure a chatbot, you need to select a client you are configuring for. So at the moment, we have the Amazon team, we have Microsoft Teams and Slack. And this demo is specifically for Microsoft Teams. So I'll go ahead and select Microsoft Teams and I'll click on configure client. So this asks you to paste the Microsoft Teams channel URL. Just like I mentioned earlier, you need a Microsoft Teams account with a Teams uh, channel in it for you to follow along with this demo. So I'll log into my Teams. I already have my Teams application open. I have uh, some Teams here. Uh, Loggy, Bam Academy. Under Bam Academy, I have already created a team 
or a channel called DevOps Sim, which I'll be using for this demo purpose. So on the team channel, which is DevOps Teams, click on the three dots right here and click on get links to the channel. So you can do this from the web version of Teams or the desktop version of Teams also. So go ahead and copy the channel link, go back to the console and paste that right here and click on configure. Okay, so because I've already configured this before now, it did not ask me to authenticate with Microsoft Teams. But if you're doing this for the first time, you will have, uh, it will direct you to Microsoft Teams login page where you can log in with the same Microsoft account that you have with the Teams account. So just enter your email address and your password. And once it authenticates, it will get you back to this page right here. So once you're in this page, the next thing we need to do is to configure a new channel. Click on configure new channel. Our new channel needs a name. I'll go ahead and call this BAM channel. We still need to paste in the Microsoft Teams channel we copied earlier in the channel URL field. So I'll go ahead and click on Control V to paste that. This actually shows you that you're pasting the correct channel, which is, it shows you the channel name here, DevOps team, which is the name of our team's channel right here. So once we have done that, when it comes to permissions, I'm going to create an IAM rule using a template because I don't have an existing template for what I want to achieve. And if you don't know, uh, IAM rule uh, mainly rules that give you access management to some of the AWS services in in your account. So IAM rule enables you to you know have predefined policies on things you can do and things you can't do. So you can create an IAM rule with limited access, so that you know the user who have this IAM rule can perform some actions and not all actions. I'm going to give my IAM rule a name. I will still call it BAM rule, just to make it more specific, I'll call it BAM chart rule. I'm going to select a template. Uh, for this template, I definitely want to have the Amazon queue as part of our policy template. So policy templates are more like rules. What can this chatbot do? We have to, you know, bring in some policies of things we want the chatbot to be able to do. So for these, we have like a lot of resources here, uh, but for this purpose i definitely want to have the amazon q api supported for this client so we can be able to interact with the amazon q from our teams channel we can go ahead and you know select all the whole policy template right here but i'm just going to stick to amazon q permissions because i want us to be able to uh, use the chat within our channel then we have what we call the channel gallery policies this is mainly where you configure policies that other team members can also perform you are configuring this as an administrator as a global administrator with you know like a full access management or some privileges to create uh, the chatbot but what about your teammates what can they do uh, so for example not everyone in the organization is going to have the administrative privilege so some users are just going to be employees who don't have access to perform all tasks, maybe they have specific IAM rules. So you can also configure what users in the channel can do. So this is, at default, you have the read-only access. I also want those, uh, want other team members to be able to use the Amazon queue. So I'll search for Amazon queue. I should be able to see the Amazon queue full access. 
If you don't see that, you can search for AWX Q. Let me see. Or I can simply use the word Q. Full assets. So you have the Amazon Q full assets. So this enable other team uh, members or members of the channel to interact with the Amazon Q chatbot as well. So this will generate AI. This is a, Amazon Q is an AI service that helps you, you know, ask questions specifically to AWS capabilities and resources. So I want you know team members to be able to use that also. So I will select that as a channel guarantee policy. So I'm going to select just the Amazon Q. We have a lot of policies here of you know access or policies you like to give you like team members to perform also within the channel so with that selected i'll go ahead and select my notification i have a notification already created now which is an sns topic uh with just with so, some subscribers also uh, but yeah so the amazing thing is you can also link your chatbot to an sns topic uh, in other words you can create a specific topic for the chatbot so that when you publish you know messages from the topic it will be published automatically to the channel so if you don't know how sns topics works or uh, uh simple notification service aws simple notification service i will drop a link on the video description where you can learn more about it but i already created a very simple standard sns topic and we're going to see how this works as a matter of fact, I'm going to go, I'm, I'll go ahead and create a new one. So I'll go ahead and click on SNS from the search bar. I'll open this in a new tab. I just switch this to ES East One just to make sure I'm the ES East One region, which is where I want to create all my services. I'll give it a name. Uh, I'm going to call this BAM Topic. Next step, just select a standard type. Uh, every other thing here is optional, which should work. So, BAM Topic, I just click on Create Topic. Okay, so at default, there is no uh, subscribers. I'll go back to my chatbot. On that topic, select the region where your topic lives in, which is US East one for me, and click on topic. You should be able to see the BAM topic created or whatever name you called it. So you should be able to link. So this will automatically subscribe this chatbot to the SNS topic. So that when you publish stuff on the topic, it will automatically be posted on your channel. So with that all set, we can go ahead and click on configure. Okay, so now we have this configured, but we still have one more thing to do. We need to go back to our Microsoft Teams. Go to the DevOps channel. On the team, itself click on the trade dot click on manage team click on apps because we need to also add the microsoft team so the uh, aws chatbot app to the microsoft team so that we'll be able to use the chatbot within the teams to interact with you know our services on the cloud so click on get more apps and you can search for aws from the search bar So you see the Amazon Web Service, go ahead and click on Add. Go ahead and click on Add to Team. So this is, okay, this is channel, the team or channel name, yes. Uh, but this is adding on the general. We actually want to make sure it is added on the DevOps team. So let's see if we can, sorry, change that. So click right here. Uh, we can select the DevOps team. So this will add the chatbot specifically to the DevOps team channel. They can now click on set up a bot. Oh, 
okay so we have already added this and uh, you'll see notification like hello i am aws chatbot which is fine so we're going to see how this thing works in a second so back to our aws console click on the bam channel which is the channel we just configured and we can send a very a simple text send text message this should send a text message to our team's channel right here so let's wait for it here we go so this actually confirmed that our chatbot is actually working and is interacting with our web channel so this is the simple message from the sns topic bam topic that we published earlier and just, this is how to use this service within your team's channel. I'm just gonna start by, okay, this is uh, trying to make a post. Um, and I'm asking AWS, you can just use the at to call AWS. So for you to ask it any question or perform any action, you just need to tag the AWS chatbot. So I'm saying AWS S3 list bucket. This is uh, the common command you run from your AWS CLI when you want to list, uh, when you want to list the list of buckets you have in your AWS resources or your AWS account. So you can also run some of this command here from the channel. So I click on post. And AWS chatbot will ask me, here's a full command. I understand you input referring to S3 bucket list. So this will ask you the region where you have your resources you want it to fetch. So uh, in my case, I have some extra bucket in the US East one. So I go ahead and select that. And this is for the first time you're running this command or any other command that have to do with resources. It's actually going to ask you uh, which region do you want me to fetch those resources from? So you can actually also do that and you can submit. And this will go ahead to list any AWS Okay, so I can see that we have access denied for this. I don't know why, but we can take a look at this. So the rule, okay, so we're having this error message because uh, when we created the rule, we didn't specify some permissions. So for example, if you want to perform some of these services, you need to, specify, you need to give the rule permission to run command like leaks s3 bucket and so so back to our aws console let's look at the im rules we have so right here we have uh just go back to im rules look for the ch bam chat rule as you can see we only give it we only give it access to amazon q Amazon AWS Resource Explorer, we don't only access and we give it access to the notification policy. So we also need to give it access to Amazon S3 bucket if we actually want it to perform uh, S3 bucket commands. So you can search for S3, Amazon S3 full access and click on add permission. So this permission has been attached. Just like I mentioned, I mean, the rule is, because this rule is attached to the child board, you can give information on the things you want it to do and the things you don't want it to do. So if you go back to our Teams channel and try to do AWS, S3 list bucket. So because we have the right row now, this should be able to list the bucket for us.
Okay, so we actually made a mistake. We're supposed to add a hyphen right there. So S3 list bucket. So this will go ahead to list all the S3 buckets we have in our AWS account. So we are getting the error message before now because we didn't give uh, our chatbot uh, role the necessary permissions for it to run some of the services that we needed to run. So, I mean, you can go ahead and try to run some of the AWS commands. And if you're unable to do that, then it's actually because of the permission that the chatbot role has. So you can always, always give it more permission based on your specifications and things you want to achieve. Okay, so with that, we can also look at other things we can do, like the, uh, you can also experiment with the AWS queue. So I'll just go ahead and call AWS, and we can ask it some questions, uh, like how do I set up EC2? So just ask it, how do I set up an EC2 instance? So this will go ahead to answer your question. You can also ask AWS help. So this will give you more like list of command and things it can do and things it cannot do. Uh, I don't understand how. Okay, so we can tell the question to AWS, how do I set up or how do I set EC2 instances? So this answers your question to benefit to begin determine which instance type you want to like stable for your use case. So it's got an answer, you know, like give you instances and give you insights on how you can do whatever you are asking it to do. So this is beneficial. We can also go ahead and add a little more question like uh, hi AWS help. So this will show us what it can do and commands we can run within here so this is okay what can you do and the things i can do you can search for commands this will list some of the command that it can allow you to run within the aws services you know through your channel so it give you an example uh can you know do like start automation executions you can actually run your platform mission services in here so i will drop a description on some of the commands and you know we can read more about the commands and questions you can ask the aws chatbot when you have you know published it and configured it with your slack or microsoft teams channel okay thank you so much for you know, stay with me and of course if you have questions you can always drop it on the comment section thank you and have a beautiful day ahead